three players that the Browns could trade during the 2023 NFL draft is from Dog Pound Daily. Uh, number three, a wide receiver, Anthony Schwartz. Uh, you, you brought in Goodwin and you brought in Moore, so that, that makes sense. Number two, Jordan Elliott, uh, defensive tackle. And uh, number one, uh, tight end, Harrison Bryant. Um, none of those would surprise me. I, I don't know what you'd really get with Anthony Schwartz at this point unless someone fell in love with the, the pure speed. Harrison Bryant makes a lot of sense, or just Jordan Elliott. I could see guys who you could look at and say, if we do this in this system, they'd be valuable. Yeah, and I mean, I look at, you know, if they want to move any of those guys, maybe it makes sense to get them for, try and get picks for 2024 out of those guys, because you're always going to get more value, I think, when you're trading for future picks versus current ones. The Browns going into this draft with eight picks. I don't know if they make all eight, because I just don't know how many roster spots there are available. I mean, there's no reason to think Andrew Berry won't move around, won't move up, won't move down, won't move, won't package picks for future drafts. But, you know, we've seen the Browns really address those three positions, in particular receiver and defensive tackle. And, of course, you know, signing Jordan Akins, who's probably going to be the number well, – I would imagine he's the number two behind David Njoku because of his prior experience of playing with Deshaun Watson. So that should help Akins really adjusting to – readjusting to his quarterback here in Cleveland. So, but when you talk about those three in particular, I do think you can get the most for Bryant because he's shown he he can play a little bit, and he's got some value, I think, as a number two tight end. Solid number two may not be a number one, but, you know, there's always room for number two tight ends in the NFL. If the, if the Browns decide to move on from him, I think Browns should be able to get at least some kind of solid value, maybe an early maybe an early day three pick in 2024 if they if they want to move on from him. The other thing to, to keep an eye out for, and I don't know how far you could do it, you, you might attach that to one of your number threes to move up um, and try to get somebody that you think is sliding. One of those guys might make sense that way.